In this video, I'm going to show you every step I took to make this Blue Beetle helmet. Okay, so the helmet is completely done printing at this point. Uh, I didn't like do anything to it. I just kind of threw it together real fast. I took all the supports off and I just wanted to show it next to the previous two helmets I've made to point out some of the main differences. Uh, one of them being the eyes are obviously way bigger on this new one. Um, and it just goes into a lot more detail. Like the ears have these nice little scaly bits uh, that actually goes throughout the whole suit. So that's pretty unique. I think just in all, it definitely looks more like the movie than the other two. And I'm I'm excited to throw some paint on this thing and, you know, make it look all nice like these do. So let's get to sanding so I can put paint on this thing as soon as possible. But it looks good, so I'm excited. If anyone has ever told you that sanding a 3D print after it's done printing is fun, then they're lying to you. Sanding sucks. It's not fun. It's time consuming. And it, it's just not a fun part because all you're doing is making it, it feel it feels like just work. It really does. But it is essential to making a helmet look good. And in the end, it does pay off. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to do the fun part and we're going to sand this thing. So let's do it. I'm starting with 80 grit sandpaper to get the nice deep layer lines. Uh, so that's what we're going to start with. Let's go. So I got the Philip primer on there. Uh, I'm gonna sand it down with 220 grit sandpaper now. Uh, the problem with this is that in this stage, the uh, the Philip primer is gonna come all, like all, out a lot on the sandpaper. So you're gonna go through a lot of this stuff, unfortunately. But uh, I guess that's you know part of the way it goes. So time to sand the whole thing down again with more sandpaper. Uh, yay. Okay, so the helmet is pretty much done at this point, and I gotta say, I am pretty proud of the color that I got. The blue that I got and the black on the face is honestly exactly how I wanted it to be. This is definitely my best helmet so far, and uh, the only thing I have to do left is add the magnets, because it doesn't really stay together right now. I'm just putting it because I wanted to show you. Uh, and I left out a lot of the stuff that I did in terms of the painting because I wanted to go over that with you right here, because I didn't want to do it while I was doing it, because I wanted to go in depth because I kind of took a weird route to get to this color and this blue especially so uh, I'm gonna talk to you about how I did that right now the first thing that I did as you saw is I used this rust-oleum uh, filo primer so what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna spray heavy coats of this because you're just gonna sand it off you're gonna spray heavy coats of this sand it and then wash it and you're gonna do that over and on repeat until you finally get to something that you're happy with I mean honestly mine isn't the smoothest thing in the world but I mean, if, if you don't get really close to it, you're not really going to notice the, the layer lines. I, I've I've never really had a problem with this stuff right here. The sanding part uh, gets a little annoying because it does kind of clog up your sand. Your, I mean, your your sander a little bit, your paper. But it, it, this stuff is awesome when it comes to wanting to get your prints as smooth as you want to get them. 
So this is the first step. Then I went over the entire print with this Rust-Oleum Ultra Matte. And I did this because for the other uh, metallic paints to work, you have to have a black gloss uh, underpaint or under or base coat, I guess. So this I did on the whole print. Now to get the blue, the first thing I did was this duplicate color metal cast. And uh, I sprayed this over the whole thing. I know the face plate is eventually gonna be black, but I, I was gonna worry about that later. I sprayed the entire print with this and it was still a pretty dark blue like you it barely showed up but I wanted the base coat to be just a little bit blue and then I went over the whole thing once again with Rust-Oleum color shift I noticed in the new pictures that we got of the Blue Beetle suit uh, after the trailer came out that it kind of had a color shift going on it wasn't a lot but it was a little bit so I've sprayed this onto the whole thing now this is gonna make it look a little bit purple which is why there's gonna be one more step to this after you spray this on to the dark blue that you already have. And that last step is to use this Duplicolor Metal Cast once again, a super light coat, just to bring out the blue in the, uh, in the color change. So it still has a slight color change and it looks a little bit glossy, but th this makes it the blue, the exact blue that I wanted to get it and it looks perfect in my opinion. It's not too light, it's not too dark, it is, the perfect blue in my opinion so at this point the whole helmet is blue and obviously i have to get the face plate to be black so all i did for that was i used painter's tape uh on the eyes and i was worried that this was gonna like rub off the paint as i took the tape off but it actually didn't it was pretty safe and then i just sprayed this with the ultra matte rustoleum black and then at this point i realized that the helmet was just a little bit too glossy it was too metallic looking it didn't look enough like the suit from the movie so finally, I used this satin clear coat. Uh, it is also Rust-Oleum and it like dimmed the gloss a lot. And I think it gave it the perfect amount of gloss. It has a little bit, but not too much. That's overwhelming and it doesn't look too metallic. So it's perfect. And finally to make the eyes glow yellow, it's just this, um, it is like cosplay eyes, flexible eyes that you can find on uh, AliExpress and maybe Amazon now, I haven't even looked. But, and then I just tape them on in the inside and the button's right in the middle. Boop, boop. And then, there you go. That's the helmet. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll make sure to link all the supplies that I used for this build in the description. So go check that out. And if you don't already, make sure to subscribe and follow me on all my other socials. Peace.